Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to a nutrition basics tutorial for Cod Survival Tropical Island. My name is the Neomer, Neomer or just Neo, and I was given the honor from hardworking developers of this game to be your guide. This video will cover hunger, weight and appetite, securing a reliable food source, keeping your appetite high, gaining weight and food stockpile. Hunger. You can locate the hunger bar in the bottom left corner of the screen, represented by the drumstick icon. Hunger represents how hungry your character is. The emptier the bar, the more he or she can eat before being full. If hunger bar ever gets completely empty, nothing bad will happen right away. So if you need to be hungry for a while to solve a much bigger problem, well, or record a tutorial, feel free to do so. Most obvious effect of being hungry is a negative impact on your morale. Not eating will also affect your weight and appetite. To fix hunger, eat some of the food available in the game. Most foods should be cooked first to avoid bacteria and parasites accumulating in your body, so make sure to do so. If hunger bar is full, it will disappear from the statistics window. If you keep eating after that or eat a huge meal, it will show up again giving information about a very full stomach and suggesting it is not a good idea to eat more for a while. If you do it anyway, you will start to feel sick and maybe even throw up. At this point, all I can tell is, well, go to sleep right away to calm your stomach down and, well, hope for the best. <laughs> we were lucky this time. Well, wait. You can look at the weight bar in the bottom left corner of the screen represented by the human torso icon. Weight is a measure of how much stored nutrients your body has. The emptier the bar, the thinner you are, and if it ever gets empty, you will die of starvation. Everything you put inside you has a value by which it affects weight. It is usually referred as calories. As far as weight is concerned, there is no need to vary your food, but your character will get sick of eating one type of food too much, so that will force you to vary it a little bit at least. General rule of the thumb is that simple lean foods contribute less to your weight, while some advanced re fat rich foods and prepared meals contribute more. As you play the game, your weight will slowly go down at more or less constant pace. Doing heavy activities will use up more calories, even though it is very hard to notice. Getting wounded, however, will drain the weight bar much faster, so it is advisable to avoid doing dangerous things unless you have a way to find or make high-calorie foods. Appetite Appetite as a stat is not visible, but it affects the hunger weight mechanic greatly. The better your appetite, the more often you will be able to eat and be able to gain more weight. You can increase your appetite by eating well and often. The longer time you spend being full on food, the better your appetite will be. Your appetite will decrease if you spend long periods of time being hungry. This will help to keep the stomach at least a little bit full and keep the moral somewhat alright when you struggle to find food. However, eating very little for extended periods of time will reduce your weight, so it is not advised to do so. General rule of the thumb is that whatever drains weight, like activity, wounds and similar, will also increase the appetite to help you counterbalance it with more food intake. Some things like fever or throwing up will negatively affect your appetite and it is best to avoid it or you will be losing weight over time. Securing a reliable food source Having a good appetite will not help with keeping your weight steady unless you have a good source of reliable food. Coconuts are plentiful and if you train your climbing a bit or invest into a copper axe, this can cover your food needs quite well for a long time. This is especially true if you use them as part of prepared meal, such as for example coconut milk. Or even better, a jungle salad. As a bonus, they are amazing source of fiber for your cords. You will get sick of eating only coconuts, however, and will need at least another reliable food source to be comfortable. My personal favorite is catching fish using the spear. It starts off a little bit slow, but well, once you train it enough, uh, you can reliably get more than one fish per hour. 
Since uh, using a fishing rod always takes one hour, spearfishing is well worth long term investment and will trump the good old rod. As a bonus, fish can be salted and turned into non spoilable food supply, which is really strong if things start going down the road. These are just my personal favorites, there are other ways as well. Anything you find really will be a nice supplement to whatever you're already doing. Just make sure you cook it first, if you can, for extra calories and to make it safe to eat. Keeping your appetite high. Having plenty of food will not help at all with your weight gain if your character feels full all the time and throws up anything you try to fit it with. If that is the case, you probably fell victim of having a horrible appetite. Most probable causes are being hungry for long periods of time, catching a fever or throwing up. To avoid this, it is a good idea not to spend long periods of time hungry starting from day one. Keep yourself moderately fat and healthy and your appetite will grow to be amazing by the time you're swimming in food. If you have plenty of food, the best way to increase your appetite further and keep it high is to eat some basic foods like cooked fish or coconuts every time you're not full. This way your character will become quite a foodie and want more and more food as time goes on. Hmm, sounds a lot like me actually. This is good for your character however, because unlike most modern people, your character will probably do a lot of work and exercise and will need all the calories he or she can get. A strong appetite is a key to having a steady weight or even some weight gain. Gaining weight. To successfully gain weight, you will have to take good care of two factors. You will need plenty of food and have a good appetite. Once you have a good appetite, make sure to eat a lot. Eat often and watch that bar stay nice in the middle or even go up a bit. However, if your appetite is not the best or if you're wounded and possibly even a bit skinny already, you should probably invest in some color rich foods while keeping your activity to minimum. Avoid heavy labor other than to get some good foods. Rest and keep good care of your wound not to get sick as well. For early to mid game, I suggest to prepare jungle salads. They are relatively easy to make and provide decent calorie intake. You can make oil by uh, boiling coconut milk. If you have access to bird meat, then some jungle chicken is really strong. Lastly, pork meat in general and pork fish is probably the best food to eat when it comes to getting a lot of calories while not eating a lot. Hunting a wild boar is not an easy task though. Once you do, however, you can salt any pork meat you cannot eat right away and even outside of meal, it is still one of the best calorie foods in the game. All of the prepared meals will fill your hunger bar a lot, so if you do get a bit sick from eating, go straight to sleep right away, not to throw up. Or you can just, like me, eat fish for days and feel pretty good. Food stockpile. All the eatables in the game can be divided between those that spoil and do not spoil over time. Whatever spoils you will need to eat before it does or you will lose it for good. Check the bottom left corner of an item to look for a percentage. If there is no percentage, the item does not spoil over time. So coconut and rain coconut will not spoil over time. While fish, cooked fish, fish scraps will. Non-spoilables will stay with you for the whole game as good reserve food to lean back on when something goes wrong. Any fish you catch can be salted and after some time it will turn into non-spoilable piece of fish. It will not be as nutritious, but will last for the whole game. You can get salt by boiling salt water on the heat source or just leave it lying around in a coconut half and wait for the water to evaporate. Any boar meat you catch can be salted as well and will be amazing source of calories even in that state. Any coconut you just peel can be safely stored and will not spoil as long as you do not drill a hole in it or crack it open. Now these two will start to spoil, so keep your coconuts intact if you want to save them for later. There are plenty of other non-spoilables in the game, I suggest to store most of them and use them as a reserve food when being sick, wounded or some other mishap catches you off the guard. Well, hopefully everything goes well and you will not need it, but if you do, you will be grateful to your past self for being such a conscious person. This will conclude the nutrition basic tutorial. Some things were only mentioned, but what was directly shown is enough to survive the early game and prosper throughout the whole game of Card Survival Tropical Island. Yes, you can easily prosper on fish, coconuts and jungle salads, 
as long as you do not do anything risky and take good care of yourself. If you want to find out about other important mechanics of the game, you can watch my other tutorials that can be found inside the game manual in this video description or inside the pinned comment. Have fun, thank you for watching and enjoy the game. Neomer out.